This is all Rowan's fault. Let's just first acknowledge that this is all her fault. Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. A few months ago, now well before like Halloween and autumn and fall even started, like probably the dead of summer, our wonderful awesome friend Rowan from the Disney Damsels started posting a bunch of Halloween and fall decor. I get it. I love Halloween. I am all about it. This year especially, we just totally need Halloween and fall this year. It is just something that we just, we needed it this year. Rowan started posting pictures of an Etsy shop and it was for candles. And I mean, let's be real, we all got so excited for them and like they were just fantastic the way she was describing them. Like, I became obsessed with them and I saw so many other people who were also reposting the pictures she was putting up and were saying that they were getting candles too. So Rowan just did what she does best. She created a movement. She created an Etsy buying candles movement. <laughs> so Rowan was posting about this shop. It was called Wiki Witchy Wix. So Rowan started posting about their shop, Witchy Wix, and everything just looked so cool. The candles looked really cool. The designs on the candles looked really cool. The wax itself looked really cool. And like, I, just like everyone else, became obsessed with them. And then when she started getting them in and she was doing her like smell-o-vision with us, I was like, oh my goodness, I really need to get my hands on these candles. So I went on and I started shopping and lo and behold, I realized, I couldn't get the candles. They didn't ship to Canada. I was so upset. I messaged Rowan and Rowan was like, awesome. She was like, well, like, I'm just gonna like get them and like send them to you. And I was like, what? I was so excited. So I got the candles sent to Rowan's house and Rowan was awesome and she sent them up to me. So like, thank you slash no thank you Rowan. Because of you, I was able to get these candles and also because of you, I was able to get these candles. Totally joking. I love Rowan so much. One of my best, best, best friends. So I just, I was really excited actually when I saw these and I was really excited when she was able to get them for me and send them off to me. So. Thank you so much, Rowan. Rowan will be linked down below. If you have not checked her out, I'm sure you have, because like, she is the best. She is like the Halloween queen herself. She is just fabulous. Go check her out if you have not. So yes, I was able to pick up three different candles, and I'm really excited that I got them. They are all in good shape. I know Rowan had some problems with um, one of them coming damaged, but the company was great and they were willing to fix it for her. So I got all mine. Mine are all in really good shape. I opened the box. I wanna do a first impressions with you guys. So I'm just gonna pick one here and let's do it. So first off, here is the candle. They do all come in glass jars. They have this like basic kind of burlap tag on them. And then the font is usually in kind of what is inspired by the candle itself. This company again is called Witchy Wix. Really cute, go check them out. They have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of really awesome candles on there. I definitely would have liked to try out a few more and I mean I might very possibly do that in the future but uh, for right now I have these three and I'm so excited. So the first one that I have here is a series of unfortunate scents. <laughs> so this one smells like lemon poppy seed muffins and the bottlers? Is that the family from unfortunate events or am I just like butchering a word? I'm not 100% sure. 100% soy wax candle. I love lemon poppy seed. Lemon poppy seed is like my favorite cake. It's my favorite muffin. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm so, so, so excited to try this first one out. So let's just, on there a little tight, tip this one. I can smell it already before I even opened it, to be true. Ah. Oh my gosh, it is. It is a lemon poppy seed muffin, 100%. Total lemon, total like meringue slash citrus smell that I'm getting out of this. It smells so nice. Beautiful color too, like this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bright yellow color. Absolutely great. This is making me want to bake some 
poppy seed muffins. Now, I've actually never made lemon poppy seed muffins. Maybe that's something I'll do. And I feel like it's a really good, like, fall food. Like, this is the perfect time to have that type of muffin. So, might need to try to do that. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is great. It does look like it got a little melted, maybe, in the mail. I'm not honestly 100% sure because it's not 100% like flat. Like if you were to pick up a candle at the store, it's kind of got the flat. This one looks like it might have melted a little bit, but either way, it made it here, made it good. The design was not tarnished on it from getting here, so I'm excited about that. First one's really good. Um, I would honestly even leave this one for after Halloween slash fall, like maybe even to November, December kind of scent. Um, this is really nice. This is just a good warm, like fall, winter scent. Next one here, which I'm obsessed with and like the 90s child in me is loving, is Easy Bake Coven. Oh my gosh, so obviously it is like an Easy Bake Oven, except it is a coven for the Halloween season. So this one smells like half-baked pumpkin muffins and kitchen witchery. Okay, and this one's so cool. In the wax, it's like little sparkles and like little heart-shaped things. And if you guys remember in Easy Bake Ovens when it came with all those recipes, these were like the sparkles that you would put on top of like your cookies, your cakes, your donuts. So that is so cool, bringing back like every bit of emotion I have from my Easy Bake Oven. Comment down below, let me know, did you guys used to have an Easy Bake Oven and did you love it so much? I definitely used it until everything was gone on, but once everything was gone, I never used it again. That was the problem with it. They did have the refillable packs, but I never got one. Did you guys? What is it? Half-baked pumpkin muffins. Definitely pumpkins and definitely like a warmer sun. I wouldn't say it's like, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's, oh, you know what this is reminding me of a bit actually? It's like a pumpkin apple. That's actually what the, I'm getting a smell out of of this. It reminds me more of the pumpkin apple. It's like a quieter smell compared to the other one, but that's what I am getting. It is like a pumpkin apple. Pumpkin, pumpkin apple with like definitely some type of baking in there as well. So that is cute. Oh, that's, that's a good one. I really like this. Even a little, I guess like, kind of like the cinnamon maybe, but maybe that's supposed to be like the baking, but maybe that's what that is. Oh, that's really cute. I'm interested to find out how this stuff actually burns down, if it is just other pieces of wax in there, if it is kind of like, I don't know. I'm interested to see if it burns the same as the rest of the candle or if it just kind of melts down and will sit at the bottom afterwards. I'm not sure. I will have to melt this one down and find out for you guys. All this, gotta do some science for the channel here. But easy bake coven, really, really cute. Okay, and last one here, and honestly, this one's actually different compared to the other two. The other two are a little bit bigger, they're in different types of jars. This jar is actually really cute. I'm kind of obsessed with this jar, and it's got a little bit different look, and it's definitely more of the spookier side. Salem! Oh my gosh, how cool is this? So this one is in this dark brown um, glass container, and it has a black lid to it. It's more of like an actual jar look when I think of a jar. This one on the front says Salem. It says smells like blueberry, pumpkin patches, and witchcraft. Really cool. So Salem here, you can think of a few different ways. You can think of Salem, like Salem the city, Salem witch trials, Salem from Sabrina. Not gonna lie, that's kind of what I was thinking of. I love the OG Sabrina. I'm actually watching the third season of the new one on Netflix. I know it came out a while ago, but I didn't actually I watched season one and then most of season two, but then I kind of stopped watching it and I thought, you know what, it's kind of Halloween time, let's finish it off. So I just actually started watching it again. So it's kind of like perfect, it's like it was meant to be, right? So here is this one. So blueberry pumpkin patches. I just had another candle that was blueberry, blueberry pancakes I think though, but it was a warmer scent. So I wonder if this one's gonna smell kind of the same. Oh yes, this one's nice. This one, I think this one's definitely my favorite out of the three. 
it is definitely a blueberry and it's a good blueberry I don't know how they're coming up with this blueberry scent this year like I said it had another candle that was blueberry and it was so good it smelled delicious and this one same thing it's so good so delicious so real it's not a fake smell it is a real blueberry smell it says pumpkin as well but I'm honestly not getting much of a pumpkin at all it's the same thing it's like a blueberry pancake blueberry muffin blueberry waffle whatever the heck you want to make that's blueberry in it but it's a warm blueberry smell that I'm getting. I really, really like this one. This one out of the three is my favorite, I think, as far as the look and the smell. But oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm so excited to go put this upstairs afterwards and then start to burn these. It's funny, at the beginning of the season, I had no Halloween, fall, pumpkin candles, and now I have so many and I'm like, I don't even think I'm gonna get through them all this year, so I might have to start burning more candles a little more often, so let's, let's do this, let's up our candle game. Okay, so those are my three candles that I picked up from Witches Candle Co. So again, great big thank you to Rowan because if it was not for you, I would not have been able to get these candles or I would have even known about these candles. So again, it's like a 50-50. If I didn't know about them, would have had to get them. But because of you, you were able to get them and I'm really liking them. And so like, I appreciate it. I appreciate you, Rowan. I love you so much, girl. I will leave them linked down below. Go and check them out. Like I said, they had so many. This is literally just three. I think they had three pages of them. There were so many on there. Um, definitely a place that I will be looking to shop from again. Really, really adorable. Love these scents. Love the jars. I like you can reuse the jars afterwards or I mean they can always be recycled because it is a glass jar. Easier footprint on the earth. So anytime they do that, that is a win in my books as well. All right, my beautiful friends, that does it for me today. No matter what you guys are doing, I hope you're having an absolutely magical day, and I will talk to you all real soon. Bye.